I click the links to the alternative video platforms, Discord and uh, Odyssey, which is freaking awesome. Okay, tr trying to turn this into a 10-minute video is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, this is just a history of this dude's spurgery. Uh, I'm sensing uh, this guy's got some mental illness mixed in with like paranoid delusions and stuff. Some of the things he's posting, I agree with. But the thing is, a lot of the things, the people he's blaming for his ills, I think you're blaming the wrong group of people for your uh, for your trials and tribulations. Uh, some of the things, listen, if you're venerating somebody like uh, Floyd, like I'm not even making fun of him because he's you know he was uh, involved in uh, chemical dependency. It's like who hasn't had chemical issues? Um, you know, everyone can. There's a lot of people who can dabble in and out of that. That's not the issue, like calling them fentanyl Floyd. It's just stupid. It's it, it's like high-risk behavior gets you involved in high-risk outcomes. And uh, this this guy kneeling on his neck, hey, nobody wants cops abusing, uh, abusing people. Um, fair enough. But uh, you can't have somebody who did a home invasion, and then you can't help hold him up as your king. It's like... He was a high-risk guy. He got involved in a lot of shady business. Uh, he's in a better place because he was hurting people. And, yeah, you look at Chauvin, and it's like, did Chauvin kill him? Probably not. I think the guy had a heart attack. The optics of it are bad. You got somebody with his, his knee on his neck or his back. It's like, the optics of that are just, you can't do stuff like that. So, fair enough. He, he, got, he got busted for it. But it's like, are you better or worse off with Chauvin here or not? Um, and some of the things are like, this is just kind of this bizarre racist revenge fantasies. Nobody alive today is responsible. I think this is beginnings. I'm thinking this is a um, uh, adult video. Uh, that This is kind of what it looks like. Um, nobody alive today is responsible for anything that happened in the past. Otherwise, that chain of causation just never ends. Okay, th this kind of stuff is nonsense. It's like, this is where you grind the axe. You see this stuff everywhere. He goes, um... Uh, this tomb of some guy is used as target practice by the Kathleen Kennedy Club. You have a tomb that has uh, damage to it. You don't know who caused the damage. Do, are some of those people who shot that thing up members of the, the Kathleen Kennedy Club? Maybe, but you don't know that. Is it more likely that it's just a bunch of... Half of those, those shots are coming from black guys who are gangbangers who are, are pulling a hoax. You go, how dare you say that? How dare you? Because 90% of hoaxes, or 90% of quote-unquote hate crimes turn out to be hoaxes. And until you start owning that and go, oh yeah, this is just another Jesse Smollett. It's like, hey, we'll shoot up this gravestone and we'll make it look like white people did it. It's like, did white people do it? Some of it, probably. But um, I guarantee you they didn't do all of it. And even if they did do it, you don't know what groups they were a part of. That's just ridiculous. And then you've got this quote from... Um, the Austrian corporal. I have no idea if this is from him or not. It doesn't sound like his syntax. Uh, and mainly, it does, I don't think he was that concerned with um, black Africans. Well, because why would he be? He had more important things on his uh, on his plate to worry about wor than worried about w whether or not black Africans were the real Israelis or not. Uh, I, I just don't see that as a major concern of his. Uh, and then you've got, like, y y like you're... You're holding these L's where you go, laws are legally allowing uh, white people being better than everyone else. Hey, white people are awesome, but I don't know if they're better than everyone else, especially not the Asians. So, like, that's an L for your side. What are you saying? You saying you want to live in a lawless society? Because, hey, there's a ton of countries. Uh, Liberia, go take a look at Liberia. It's a shithole. Most people need structure. Most people need laws. So a lot of this, this kind of stuff is just nonsense. Five times as many uh, whites are using drugs as blacks. Yet blacks were sent to prison. No, that's just not true. Uh, if if I had to guess, I'd say black people use more drugs than white people, but they also use them in different ways. And I don't know if I can get into this on YouTube. Um, I was thinking of this example. You got like a carload of, of white kids who are smoking weed, and a carload of black kids who are smoking weed. One group has the music blaring, smoke just pouring out the windows. And when a cop drives by, uh, the guy uh, flips him the bird or points a finger guns at him. So the cop turns on his lights, flips around, calls for backup. And so, it, obviously, that's the black car. You get the kid sitting in the car being like, one guy says to the other guy, like, hey, dude, we're, we're black sitting in a car smoking weed, and uh, we got drugs and guns, and you just flipped off a cop. 
why why would you do that? We're trying to keep it. We're just sitting in a parking lot smoking weed. Why would you flip off? Why would you bring attention to us? And his buddy goes like, oh, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. It's like, well, we're going to jail, man. I mean, we got a gun in the car. It's a, this guy's a felon, and the other the other guy is just like none of the gun is stolen, and we've got drugs. It's like, why would you do something? Why would you bring attention to us? We're just sitting in a car smoking. And so the story gets out. It's like, oh, the cops are busting these guys for no reason. It's like, <laughs> but for <laughs> let's analyze the proximate cause of this. But for rolling down the window and flipping the cop the, bo- the bird, he would have just driven past you. But you got his attention. It's like. Why would you do that? It's insane. And then other other these kind of conspiracy theories. Um, like you don't know anything about World War Two if you're, I mean you're like you're half right in looking at the Department of Homeless Security in the United Nations. Um, but the Crooked Cross, no, that's definitely the wrong group. You, you're you're looking in the wrong direction. This is nationalism versus globalism. It, this doesn't even make sense. Literally, there's two symbols. One is a globalist symbol. And the other's a nationalist symbol, and it's not like the history of World War II, uh, the Rothschilds and the Soros types. Uh, like none of this makes sense. This is just—I mean, you can look this up for yourself. There's a, I mean, there's a ton of history on this. It's um, financed. No, no, he was he was against the the bankers and the financiers, the international type. I mean, this is just like you're you're hearing stuff about like bankers and you're throwing shit against the wall, and it's like it's it's half right. Um, and then uh, get in there. Uh, okay, capitalism, feeling sad and depressed. You might be suffering from capitalism. Okay, so what do you think the solution to capitalism? Oh, we need to do socialism. So international or national? What, what variety do you think is going to work better? I, I'm just saying, he's like, he's half right in a lot of things. All we got to do is stand up and it's game over. Listen, there's people on the far left and the far right that totally agree with you on that. It's like, oh, who's who's around in the world? Soros, the Rothschilds, um, the movers and shakers. It's like, yeah, we all could stand up and it's game over. It's not, um, it's not, um, I think you're picking the wrong enemies if you think like your enemies are all these, these white people. Okay, so you got the district attorney in this case it is district attorney John Chase. I don't know something. He's on, he's on Twitter talking about, uh, he's got a couple old tweets that have not aged well where he was talking about he lowered the bail for Jesus, he lowered the bail and released people on ankle monitoring and stuff. And, um, he's, I, I'm hoping he's going to resign because he seems like a sociopath. It's like, you don't, you don't make life better for people when you don't hold them accountable for crime that like, you got a lot of people like this who like, you've never had consequences or haven't had enough consequences with like, this guy's been arrested, you know, like 30 times. He's got like 30 different mug shots from uh, many different States. It's like, yeah, but he hasn't done any serious time because he's, you know, he's like 40 and he's still out on the streets just doing insane stuff. And he was released on a bail for like a $500 bail for domestic violence and running over a woman, a girlfriend or something, in his car or striking her in his car. So you've got um, the premeditation concept of like he's using cars as a weapon, which kind of leads you to believe that. He wasn't just fleeing from a crime. In this case, he was using it. And he's got a bunch of anti-white stuff in here, too. He was using the vehicle as a weapon because he did it before. Anyway, so he was released on a $500 bail. And then for some reason, he didn't pay the bail or something. He didn't meet one of the conditions. So he gets dragged back into court, and now the bail's $1,000. And this was like a day ago. So he's released on that $1,000 bail. And then he decided to drive his car down um, the uh, Christmas parade. Uh, leading to several fatalities and like 30 people injured and so far five um, fatally injured. So um, he's got a history of using a vehicle in a criminal manner. And he's like, he's a nut job and he's, he's like, he's blaming people, you know, blaming people, other people for your behavior from like uh, for, for acts like 150 years ago. Like logically a child would, would like a teenager would be able to think this logic loop through and go, Oh, well, they can't everyone blame everyone for every single act whatsoever. It's like, yeah, obviously that the the causal loop never ends. And something like this, like you think this is a, you, I, I don't know how you these people invaded a, a private community. They they tore down a gate, and these people are defending um, their their residence. It's like that's pretty normal and reasonable behavior. I think is you can go to Chicago now. It's like there's um Chicago's got like. Two homicides a day. And the average used to be about one, one and a half. 
Yeah, now the 2021 homicide rates, when these things come out in a few months, it's going to be through the frigging roof. So, okay, the Bre- Brenna Taylor thing, Brianna Taylor, this is the attorney general. I mean, what are you accusing her of? This is her husband. Uh, and you're like, she fired through a closed door. She was uh, an EMT and she returned to a, uh, like she was in the game, I'm trying to say. She returned a car to a rental car. It had a dead body in the trunk. Oh, I, hey, I forgot that we whacked somebody and put the body in the trunk. It's like, that's why you're fired from being an EMT. She was in a game. She was a scumbag. And she fired through a closed door. And then she was, or her boyfriend fired through a closed door. It's like, what did you expect would happen? You can't fire people and not have not expect them to return fire. You can't chase people. You can't do all this kind of stuff without it catching up with you. Um there's a, like I said, there's a, there's a homicide. Hey, were people bad in the past? There's people in Africa right now who who will sell you human human slaves in the Middle East. It, oh, and this uh, this is a BLM insignia on a um, a watermelon. It's just Jesus, dude. I mean, not one of you guys got together. And thought it looks a little silly. I mean, it's not. Not the worst thing in the world, but it just, it just looks dumb. All this stuff looks dumb. Listen, there's Sub-Saharan Africans and North Africans. African doesn't is not synonymous with Black African. Sub-Saharan Black African. You think you think you built the pyramids? You're out of your freaking mind. The Egyptians built the pyramids. They're not Black Africans. They're a different tribe entirely. And like even the artwork, it doesn't even look African. Of of the, uh, they had paintings on the walls or like hieroglyphs of. Had African servants who were serving the Egyptians. It's like, why would you try to? It's such an enormous L to try to say you, you, you are this person's history is yours. It's insane. Anyway, he seems like a combination of like. There's a lot of mentally ill people in society, but they're not given consequences for their actions. And being obsessed with Donald Trump, hey, a lot of people on the right look at Donald Trump as a complete idiot, also, and because you got. No consequences for your actions. It's like you, what happens? You just get away with more and more stuff, and you don't see any um. You, like you never, you never. Yeah, this is war. Like, hey, the majority go to Chicago, go to Oakland, go to St. Louis, go to Memphis. I think Memphis is number one in America. The crime rate is off the hook. Like, it doesn't make any sense to worry about a cop. Hey, should cops be shooting? Uh, should be, cops be murdering people? Absolutely not. We want better police. We want better district attorneys. But like the part of the people you're blaming, it's like you're not blaming the right enemy. The, your real enemy is the globalists. And I don't know why, like you think white people are globalists. That's not the group who's overrepresented in globalism. I was, um, I was starting off to make this video for YouTube, but I suspect this is too base. I, I don't, I don't know if I can do any videos for YouTube anymore. Oh, this is a uh, CWB Chicago. So they've got, um, they cover, they cover news in Chicago and it's, get in there, it's what you expect. It's, um, black men committing crimes, usually against other black people. It's like 90% of the crime in Chicago is going to be, um, black on black. And this, uh, CWB Chicago just goes through crime, crime, crime. And it's all, it's all black dudes, black dudes, black dudes. All right. One, one white guy. It, but it's, I'm saying it's like 90%. And the girl who slashed someone's face, she's probably going to be a black girl too. You get where I'm going with this. Um, let me try this take two for, for YouTube. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode.